Can we bring back men dating women on real dates, opening the car door for them and bringing flowers for no reason? I do these things and I'm still single. You know, people would think that if a nice guy dates a nice girl, that would be the end of all things and everything would be all nice and dandy and all that good positive stuff. No, I'm thinking it'll just make it ten times worse. There is no nice outcome to this nice conundrum. Not even Doctor Strange could find a future where this all works out. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in the arse like nice girls because it's apparently a nice day nice weather except that people are not nice and that ain't going away anytime soon unfortunately if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you guys have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications let me know what your favorite pastime is to do with your homies and as long as it isn't pelting each other with rocks I'd say that's a pretty good weekend why the elves can't it be about personality. Why do men only want pretty girls? It's about personality. Can we go back to the 50s and 60s where people actually take relationships seriously? No. I thought so. Mother and a stoner. Hit me up for friends, I guess, since that's all you guys want. Uh, ma'am, might I suggest you not recommend to go back to the 50s and 60s while you do think that, yes, this is how things should be. I'm fairly certain there's a bunch of other things in the 50s and 60s that you would not like having to go through because, you know, it's kind of a two-way street on that. Plus, also, yes, personality is very important, but if your personality resulted in this bio being born... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna step back a little bit. I have a great personality! Alright, um, but however, though, who can confirm that other than you? Because if anybody's trying to advertise themselves like this, and they are the only ones that are stating themselves as such, I am going to be very difficult in believing that. I never check my Reddit DMs, hella mail. Yeah, I know you had way enough time to reply the three or four times you clicked on that conversation, but in reality, you just don't care because you're running after karma for self-esteem. You do not seem to care about others or to or participate to conversations to tr truly help anyone. I'm quite the opposite. I don't care about karma. I care about sincerity and real interactions. I know I'll never get a reply to what I wrote. I lost my time for nothing. Whatever. Continue running after shallow things one day. You will realize all the time you lost for nothing, and it will be much more than the time I lost. The time that I'm already mad to have lost. You know, if they don't reply to you right away, so maybe it might not be a good idea to the second or the third. There's no such thing as fourth times the charm for any of these conversations. It's just a weapon perk in Destiny 2, and I do not recommend thinking that your conversation can work on the fourth try. Why am I single? Almost everyone who knows me a little knows this. I'm a very intelligent, extremely funny, freaking cool, and a very good looking person who is also freaking charming and amazing at heart. So the fuse of their little brains burns, and they say I'm dangerous instead. <laughs> Losers. LOL. Ah yes, it's totally because you are are so stunning, you render them speechless and they don't want to talk to you. That's totally it. Great job. You want a cookie or something? Because obviously you're trying to fish for something here. You can guarantee this person can go nuclear just by asking them the two-worded question. Says who? Why is this cute boy dating an uglier girl? Totally not like we already know why off the title of this alone. I have been friends with my crush for a long time. I've known him since my first semester at college. He takes engineering, so I don't see him all the time. I am hot as heck and have lots of guys chasing after me. I have had as too many times last year. It got boring. The only guy I can't get is my crush. He always dates ugly girls. Like, there is this one ugly Asian chick which he met in linear algebra, yes, I stalked, that he is dating. I don't understand why. He is awesome and very handsome and deserves a hot girl, but only dates ugly ones. Why would he even date an Asian girl when we white girls are so much hotter? Why doesn't he realize that he deserves better? And that I 
want him. I have a flirt with him and touch him, but he rejects all of my advances. I don't know why ugly girls even think they have a chance with him. It's disgusting, TBH. I, you know, obviously you're going to find another person ugly because you're not interested in them, but you know, maybe it's not like he might see something in them that you don't, like, um... Common sense? Why do you come off as the type of person where you could be shown mean girls at multiple times and you would still not understand why that describes you to a T? What's even weirder is that there were five other pages of this post, but all of them were really just photos of the other person that she kind of just stole off of other social media. So yeah, congrats on also hitting the creepy note too. There was a kicker to this though. At the end of it all, she asked who was hotter after taking all of those photos off of somebody else's social media. Again, like I said, that's totally not creepy. And, uh, yeah, she lost, lost hard. Having high self-esteem and good confidence about yourself is definitely a likable trait, but not when it's so high that you shove other people's down into the dirt to try to compensate. And of course you're not going to find the other person attractive and say that they're ugly. They're dating the person that you're interested in. That's just called jealousy, you dumb dumb. Hey, Blank, unfortunately, I want to cancel our date for Saturday. I want to thank you for being willing to give me a chance, and I wish you the best. I'm currently interested in someone else, and I won't be talking to other women until I found out where it leads. Goodbye. <laughs> LOL. Who freaking cares? I'm freaking someone else as we speak. No need to even text that. Goodbye, loser. You're blocked, dummy. Who cuts people off if you're not even in a relationship yet? <laughs> LOL. Dummy, ain't no second chances here. A pizza place for dinner was trash as if upgrade and spend money, idiot. Uh, ma'am, why don't you just say you weren't expecting expecting to have to spend any money on the date because that's how you think this works out in the first place. Kind of think if you're not going to be spending any money on the date, you don't got much leverage in complaining about where you go. Yeah, bullet dodged apparently. Yeah, you dodging it like Neo up there. A girl was giving me a death glare when I walked by her and her boyfriend table a minute ago. LOL, what happened? Probably mad that her man was looking. She got a flat A because she's B. God blessed me because I'm a nice person. Maybe she just looked at you because you were walking by. She probably wasn't even consciously thinking about you. Nah, you weren't there. She was hating. Ah oh, yes, the ever so classic case of I am the main character. No, last I checked, the level of curves that you got is not indicated by whether or not you're a good person. I don't think you get gifted because of your morals like that. If anything's overinflated, it's not your butt, it's your ego. I can't help but be upset when I hear about how successful my ex is. Don't get me wrong, I want nothing more for him to be happy. We were together since high school and even through college. Our moms were good friends and we got along great with each other's families. Back then, he didn't take school seriously. He's a spoiled rich kid and only went to college because his parents forced him to go mainly because he was an only child. Unlike me, I had to take out student loans to pay for my education. I ended up breaking up with him because I felt like we were together for so long and I never had a chance to explore life. He understood when I told him that's the reason I wanted to break up and he gave me space. But I effed up a month later after I ended up dating his friend from high school. I was young and dumb and thought I was in love, but in the end it just never worked out. It wasn't until my aunt, who's a realtor, said my ex called her to go check out some houses. I was shocked because when we were together he never wanted to move out of his parents' house, but he was looking at million dollar houses with his new soon to be wife. I was a little snoopy and asked my mom about how my ex was doing because she is still friends with his mom. My mom said his mom always brags about how beautiful and hardworking her niab is and she comes from a wealthy family as well and runs her own business. A few weeks later I went to the grocery store and ran into him and he looked right at me and pretended like he didn't even know me. We were each other's first love. Did that not mean anything? Well apparently to you if you tossed him aside like a bad sack of potatoes. Sometimes I wonder if he even still thinks about me. <laughs>
probably not. Sometimes I feel like I was such a fool. All those years I threw them away. Because that should have been my life with him. Why couldn't he have been that man for me when I was with him? He is everything I wanted him to be. He is nothing everything for her when I used to beg him change. But he'd do it in a heartbeat for her. So let me get this straight. You had absolutely no reason to break up with him. But now that you're seeing him actually being happier in life after breaking up with you, you kind of get upset that you did it in the first place. Dang, that kind of sucks, don't it? Plus also, you stated that soon after you broke up, you started dating his best friend. I feel like you just didn't want to be qualified as a cheater. I could give you so much, but you don't want me because I'm fat. I could call you my sweet, handsome boy every day, but you don't want me because I'm fat. I could give you lots of gentle kisses across your forehead and softly stroke your hair, but you don't want me because I'm fat. You could move into a comfortable, clean, nicely decorated space, but you don't want me because I'm fat. You could have a girlfriend that makes the best chocolate chip cookies to stay soft for days if they last that long, but you don't want me because I'm fat. You could have a girl who would eventually give you children, but you don't want me because I'm fat. You could have a girl who is completely devoted to you and only you, who is obsessed with you, but you don't want me because I'm fat. You could have a girl who would be willing to move across the country to be with you, but you don't want me because I'm fat. You could have a girl who is independent, who works non-stop, who is nurturing and funny, but you don't want me because I'm fat. You could have a girl with an interesting personality and music tastes, but you don't want me because I'm fat. Men only value physical perfection in women, and they wonder why they keep getting the short end of the stick. I could give you everything, but you won't date me because I'm fat. You know, that's the weird thing about preferences when it comes to the dating thing. That's a two-way street on there. Appearances aren't everything, but like I've stated before, I see them as a good indicator of habits and everything. I can guarantee you, if you're posting this kind of stuff, you being a bit big is not the biggest issue as to why they don't want to date you. I can guarantee you, this is the type of personality that is blatantly average if you're posting this online on r slash rants. I need to stay single because I love too hard, and in this generation, they don't appreciate that anymore. Honestly, the only reason I ever tell people to just stay single after a breakup for a bit is because it gives them a chance to learn to love themselves, which I feel like not a lot of people get to do. You learn to love yourself, you'll be happier at the end of the day, even if somebody ain't there. While it would be nice to have somebody there, at the end of the day, you're still there for you. I am happy for you, but I can't do this anymore. I can't do this knowing that we will be nothing in six months months. Understandable. Take care of yourself. I want us to be friends, though. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Why not? Look, I love you, but I don't want us to break up, but life's too short to be saying what if and give it time. You're right. Life is too short, and that's why I'm moving away to make something of my life. But life's too short to be wondering if you're gonna come back. I don't want us to break up. I don't want to lose you. So let me get this straight. Dark Blue wanna break up. You're fine with it. And then and that's apparently a problem that you're fine with that. Hello! Hi, uh, who is this? The name's redacted. I was at this person's sleepover last night. Oh, hey, uh, Blank. What's up? Good. Even though I don't know you properly, I think you're really hot. I was wondering if you want to go out and get something. Maybe McDonald's? I'm free for the weekend. Oh, well, I'm really not interested in a date at the moment. I just got out of a relationship after all, but thanks for the compliment, so I guess I'll pass. Huh? Uh, it's not a date. LOL. I just wanted to get to know you better. Don't assume things like it. But th that's the definition of a date, though. I mean, you called me hot, so it's natural I would think that. Nah, you're just self-entitled. Ah, boy, here we go. Uh, okay. It's funny how people can't even try to have a friendship these days. I can't even try to get to know each other without them thinking you have second thoughts, SMH. So next time, don't do that. Y you called them hot, though. How am I supposed to interpret that? What? Don't play dumb on me. Okay. It's funny how we can't even try to be nice. Y'all only look forward easy slust anyways. You know what F you. Stop being a little B. What the frick? LOL. Okay, so I go to the sleepover of one of my friends. You happen to be there because you're his friend too, but I don't know you. You say I'm hot and want to take me out, and that's just friendship? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, it is, you B. You probably just a lonely F. Stop messaging me, B. And meanwhile, you just sent four messages on top of that, and you started the conversation. Balloons carry more weight than that last sentence there. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.